All right, today on the Happy Satellite Nerd, I'd like to talk to you about how to get the master channel list for C band and KU band onto your Z Gamma um, 4K Ultra HD Linux re satellite receiver. Are you looking for a satellite dish? Are you looking for a C band satellite dish? Are you looking for a mesh dish? The place you want to go to to find that is Tech 2000. Tech 2000. Check out Tech 2000 for all of your satellite products for free to air satellite reception. You can go and uh, download a, a zip file that will have all the channels on C band and KU band, and and then put it onto your satellite receiver. So this is uh, great if you're a new uh, new to free to air and you're looking for the channels, or just um, looking to uh, find all the channels in one place without having to scan everything over the Clark belt, over the geostationary belt, like move your satellite dish from one satellite to the next satellite to the next satellite to the next satellite and scan for 20 to 40 minutes or whatever. So this saves you a lot of time and when you do buy it as Gamma H7 receiver from TBRO now it will come with the master list already on it. Now I have one that I got before um, Tech 2000 had, was, uh, was selling them with it so I'll show you how to use the DreamSat editor and, and how to uh, get that file and how to update your satellite receiver so you can get all the channels uh, that are on C-band, KU-band um, and then uh, send them right to your satellite receiver without having to scan them and go through that whole whole process of, uh, of sitting through each satellite, scanning them in and, and doing that. So, I've, so I'll switch the camera around here to my computer. All right, so. I got my downloaded this file from uh, TV Eurosat, and uh, I've uh, gone into my DreamSat editor, and I've unzipped it. And when you go, you connect your receiver. I'll just show you how do you do that. So I have my settings here. You just uh, I did this in another tutorial. So you connect. When you're connected, uh, you'll have like your you'll see your signal reading and all that type stuff so I have this list loaded up I'm just gonna show you how I loaded it here so I went into where I had I unzipped that file from TBRO sat and I load up this file here which is lame DB that's which will open up as an Enigma 2 file and I see it has all of the free to air channels like all of the um, I might have went to all TV here I'm just gonna go to right now I have I'm parked over at 90 so here you see it has all the satellites, um, 55 West. It has like a little you know musical symbol, or I'll have a pair of sunglasses if it's a. So I'm just gonna put it over here at CW. Um, so this is a list of the channels that are on. On there is like walk TV for example and it shows all the transponder and all that settings so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that list and I am going to read write so where do I do that right here import compare settings or is it send command there's my connect read write settings I want to write this to the satellite so I'm going to write that all to the satellite so that it will update the channels so that it will have all that um, program to my receiver. So my TV's gone on and off now. <clears throat> You're starting Enigma. Please wait. Let me just make sure I'm recording this thing. Yeah, I am recording this thing. 
Okay, I'm seeing my uh, receiver reboot. And that's how you transfer all your... That's how you update your receiver so you, you, you won't need to scan in all the channels. It will just be in off of that. So thanks for watching and uh, enjoy. And I'll show you on the receiver end. So what you do is you'll be back to your black screen. So you hit your TV button and you can also hit your green button here and uh, swarm around your menu here to look at your channels. Oh yeah, there's the... Oh, I did have the channels there. Uh, there, there we go. So you can go through your channels. It makes them alphabetical. The IRS is being blocked. So you, I'm just going by what's on um, on uh, Galaxy uh, 19. Now I also have my dish aimed over at... All right, back in the world of Linux where I like to be. So, now you might want to create a favorites list of your channels. So, you go into your editor here on your web interface. You go satellites. And because I'm on 97 West, I'm just going to scoot over to 97. Did I pass it? Yeah. 97 West services. This has like all the satellites, but really we just need... First, I need to add a favorite list. So, I'm going to call it... Fave one one Galaxy nineteen. So I'm just gonna go QC RT add channel, and you just go through this process and add all of your channels that you want to add. So then you'll have that favorite list with all the channels that you want to have selected for your favorites. So it's a good way of getting. You know, a, a quick reference to the channels that you go to. Like for me, I only watch like a couple channels. You can only watch one at a time. But uh, as I flip through the channels, and and plus there's a lot of channels you might not want to watch. But it's nice to have it wide open to look at everything. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Share these videos on social media with all your friends. I have a pair of ramen ears growing out of my head. It's crazy. I can receive TV signals off my head. It's crazy. <laughs>